If this film was made by the Crown Film Unit, is this a piece of government propaganda? I would say very definitely not, but that I would also say that the Crown Film Unit was never designed to be propaganda, in fact rather the reverse, that uh, going back to what I said earlier about uh, there being film units attached to things like the post office and the uh, uh, the Commonwealth Office and, 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 and various other government organisations, uh, but the, the idea of a government film unit had been resisted uh, partly in the face of Russian and German using the facilities of uh, cinema uh, for promoting government purposes and that there was a very definite feeling that uh, if the government controlled it, uh, it would inevitably be reduced to producing propaganda. And rather like the BBC, I think the Crown Film Unit was always intended to be independent and that it was uh, disseminating infor information which, of course, could always be uh, instigated by the government, uh, but that it was in no way and that it had to be seen to be separate from government organisations and therefore uh, that it must not be seen as putting out the government's views. And I think that uh, Jennings was probably only interested in working for the Crown Film Unit because of that sort of independence and that, uh, that he and most of the other people who were working at it uh, were probably uh, well left of centre if not actually uh, Labour Party members uh, and that, uh, that, that this was seen as a, a thoroughly healthy and moreover that it, it was the only way in which such an organisation could and should be operated, at least for, for the British people. Uh, it is perhaps a slightly ironical comment on this that it was actually under Harold Wilson that the Crown Film Unit was disbanded.